Welcome back everybody. Mark your calendars because on June 7, 2020, the city of Salisbury will play host to its first ever Pride Parade and Festival. Salisbury's chapter of PFLAG made the announcement today as part of National Coming Out Day. Organizations across Delmarva celebrated the day that is all about celebrating who you are. University of Maryland Eastern Shore hosted several events saying it was a good place to show students that everyone is welcome there. PFLAG says there's never been a pride parade on the Eastern Shore before, so the event is all about showing unity in our community. If you're interested in getting involved with the parade planning, you can visit the brand new website at SalisburyPrideParade.com. Moving along tonight, the Endless Summer Cruising event is in full swing in Ocean City, but with many H2OI drivers threatening to return this weekend, the entire town is once again on high alert. Despite what happened a couple of weekends back, and who could forget, event organizers say they have not seen a decrease in people coming out to see the hot rods, customs, classics, and the muscle cars. In the face of this threat, officials say they have full confidence in the Ocean City Police Department to keep things under control if the H2OI goers do return. The police are out in full force and they are prepared for the weekend. We work very closely with the Ocean City Police Department and the town of Ocean City. Um, we were well prepared for the event. Um, the police were out in full force and we've always held safety as our number one priority at our event. All right, you can get tickets for Endless Summer Cruising for 15 bucks. If you'd like to buy a ticket, you can either get them in person at the Ocean City Convention Center or you can buy them online at specialeventpro.com. And let's Finally, get to our big story tonight. Coastal flooding and the effects subtropical storm Alyssa is having on us here in Delmarva. Throughout the area from Long Neck, Delaware, which you're looking at right now, to Crisfield, to Salisbury, to Ocean City, the waters are rising abnormally, typically during high tide. According to our weather team, this is something that should last another 24 hours into Saturday, which means that we all have to be careful and stay away from any flooded areas. That water has no way to drain back out. So it kind of stacks up. Don't drive in any flooded water at any time because you just don't know what's underneath the water. Now the worst of the high tide conditions started around 8 o'clock tonight. To learn more about road closures or other affected areas, just log on to our website 47abc.com. And to learn more about coastal flooding, stay in your seats because we have Ulysses Garcia here to tell us a little bit more about it. Ulysses? Well, thanks, Ryan. Yes, that coastal flooding will continue as we go into tomorrow, especially until tomorrow evening. And then as we head into Sunday, things will begin to improve when it comes to that situation. I'll get into that more in detail in just a second. But right now, checking out what's happening on our Delaware Electric Co-op Skycam in Greenwood. Right now, we are just dealing with partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. When it comes to our high temperature, 69 degrees, our low 51 degrees for today. So overall, seasonable day. When it comes to our weather watchers, we though we have Chuck and Lewis reporting 57, Ted and Millsboro 59, and Bud and Laurel already down to 50 degrees at the 11 o'clock hour. Temperatures throughout the peninsula, mainly into those 50s, 54 in Easton, 54 in Cambridge, 52 in Salisbury, a little bit milder towards the east 61 in Ocean City 59 in Georgetown winds mainly coming in out of the north between 5 to 10 miles per hour especially along the beaches and along the Delaware Bay but further inland though we are dealing with calm conditions now when it comes to the coastal flood advisories and warnings in the dark green coastal flood warnings in effect until tomorrow evening where we can see up to one to two feet of flooding, especially during high tide. So keep that in mind. Just remember, turn around, don't drown. Now, this is all associated with subtropical storm Melissa. That's going to continue to push out towards the east, especially with the fact that we do have a cold front that will come in from the west. And Melissa, it's actually already weakening down to 50 miles per hour, expected to become extratropical as we head into the weekend. 47 to 52 degrees for tonight, partly cloudy and cool for tomorrow. Climbing into those low to mid 70s, partly sunny skies, comfortably mild with those winds out of the west at 5 Five miles an hour. Get closer look into those numbers 74 in Easton, 73 in Cambridge, 72 in Wallops Island. We'll start off with sunshine in the morning, but then clouds will roll in from that front. The front will stall out as we head into your Sunday, bringing some scattered showers in the afternoon and evening. And then when it comes to rainfall amounts, about a half an inch or so. And then when it comes to your marine forecast, winds out of the south at 5 to 10 knots. And then for the next seven days, we're going to see another chance of rain on Wednesday. Ryan. All right, Elises, thank you very much. When we return, the boys from DSI join me to talk about the best of the best. We're talking 
the top players, the biggest plays. We're breaking it all down in just two minutes. Don't go away. You're watching Del Marva Sports Insider. My name is Jody Heilman from Del Mar Field Hockey, and you are watching Del Marva Sports Insider.